two, three, yeah. Yeah. Hey there, Knights Nation. Christian Payne joined by Bellman Lacrosse head coach Kevin Burns. Coach, a lot of excitement heading into 2016. What are those first impressions for this year's program with a nice spring ahead? Well, uh, the guys have been really energetic so far at the beginning of practice here. Um, we've had great leadership. We've got 12 seniors, so they, they've brought a lot of great leadership to them. But the young guys have responded to that leadership and really been uh, competing every day in practice. Love what we've seen so far. I've been out there in practice. Cold weather, but you guys are really working well from what we've seen so far. So first, let's focus on the leadership group. Who's the captain for you this year? Uh, we've got a single captain. It's Bobby Schmidt, uh, fifth-year senior, uh, long stick midi, All-American, multiple-time All-American, uh, hopefully uh, MLL draft pick. So he, he's been a leader for three years now. This is his third year being captain. Uh, but he's surrounded by a great group of the 11 other seniors. Um, we've got six fifth-year seniors, so the rest of those guys, uh, followed by the actual senior class. Um, and then if you go down the line, I mean, we've got guys that are freshmen that are leading us in a lot of great ways even uh, from there. So guys like Brogan Hill, uh, who's another fifth-year senior for us, Dylan Gatt, who's another fifth-year senior, uh, Reed Wesley, Cole Killian. Uh, to be honest with you, there's almost too many guys to name uh, that have been really stepping up into a great leadership role for us. Lots of leadership. Now, how about the newcomers, guys that have impressed you out of fall ball, now moving into the spring, Coach? A uh, lot of newcomers that, that have stepped up in a big way for us. Um, one of the biggest is Chase Rose. Uh, he transferred to us from Robert Morris, was their starting goalie last year, um, in, including when we beat them, which is kind of fun for this week. Um, but he stepped up, and, and uh, right now he's probably the starter. Um, but there's some really good competition from Max Carter, uh, who's a local uh, product, St. X guy, goalie really pushing him for that starting job. Um, we've got some young guys at attack, Ian Miller and Steven Votto, that I think are going to really be in the mix. Uh, and then there, there's a bunch of other guys, uh, Paul Silverblatt, Ryan Kukulis, just a bunch of middies that kind of can play all over the field, play D midi, play O midi for us. Uh, so we're still kind of feeling out their roles a little bit, but I have no doubt that those guys are going to be out on the field. Strong dynamic. Now let's take a look at each position, start on the attacking side. Guys are really going to, you know, push the issue, work around the crease, and score some goals for you this year. Who's going to headline that attacking list? Well, the, the, the guy who's the leader, by no doubt, uh, at, at that end is Dylan Gatt. Fifth-year senior from Canada for us, uh, was a top scorer last year. Not the leading scorer, but one of our top scorers last year. Uh, he is a guy that is a little unconventional, I'll say, but he's good for, for a couple goals a game no matter what, and he will score some of the craziest goals that, that anybody will see. Um, you know, surrounding him, there, there's a whole bunch of guys that could be in those positions. Uh, some of those young freshmen that I spoke about earlier. Uh, there's guys like Ryan Broderick, uh, who's a sophomore. Um, we've got uh, Graham Mako, who could be in the mix there. Uh, Andrew Shenick, who's also a redshirt sophomore. Uh, so there's some really good options that we have there, and it's kind of uh, just a matter of finding the right chemistry to work around Dylan. Now let's focus on the midfield, guys who can dodge downhill, make things happen for you and take the leadership role between the restraining lines. Who's in that midfield unit this year? Uh, it's, it's a fun group for us to be able to, to mix and match a little bit. Uh, we've got Tucker Seesaw, uh, who was first team all-conference last year as a midi. Uh, just a great competitor, fierce competitor, great stick skills. Um, and Jack Perkins, who's big, bruising, 200-something uh, pound guy. Um, those two guys both are, are, are staples there. Um, Dan Zamora and Brogan Hill, who I spoke about earlier, are both fifth-year seniors who have been big-time contributors at the midfield. Um, and then there's other guys. There's uh, Brian Wall, who's a two-way midi for us. He's been able to play both ends of the ball, so he'll have some kind of major role. Uh, we're just trying to figure out where that is. Will Roshkowski, who's a sophomore, ended up playing a lot at the end of the year last year as a freshman. He'll, he'll definitely be in the mix. Uh, and then, again, there's all those freshmen and, and some newcomers there that, that'll be in there. Um, uh, on top of a guy, uh, um, Tanner Barco, uh, will also be in the mix there. He's really stepped up over the last couple weeks of practice. The X factor, the face-offs, always important. you got to control that possession. So who's going to be your go-to guy in that face-off role this year? Well, uh, Connor Harriman uh, ended up being our guy for most of the year, uh, was able to, to really do a great job. He was over 50% facing off as a freshman at the D1 level. That's, that's pretty huge for us. Um, and he, he's been doing great so far, and he's really been pushed by Tyler Nagel. 
um, who has been competing every year he's been here. He's always been a guy that we're able to put out there, and he's been able to do well. Um, and especially with this, this Robert Morris game coming up, uh, it's, he's gotten the game ball, I think, the last two or three years in that game uh, for being face-off guy. And let's not forget that LSM role, one of the most underrated positions on the lacrosse field. So on your team, who are the guys on the wings getting the ground balls and doing the dirty work in the long stick midi role? It's kind of a loaded question because we got a lot of D guys that we're going to move around to different spots. So uh, Bobby Schmidt, by far, uh, you know, we'll, we'll know he's out there. That, that's a definite. Uh, as I said before, he's an All-American at that spot. Um, he is the prototypical long stick midi. He can be an offensive threat, a defensive threat. Um, you know, he's led the team and caused turnovers every time he's been healthy. Um, so he, he'll definitely be on the wing. Uh, Taylor Stewart was first team all conference long stick midi last year for us. Um, he, a great stick skills. He was actually a man up last year with his long pole even. Uh, so he'll be in the mix there, uh, as will Shane Healy. will be bumping around there. Uh, Cole Killian will be around there, Chris Cousins. So we, we have some options, which is nice. Now let's go to the close defense. Guys down low, they're going to protect that Butterman crease. Well, the, uh, the staple down there is Kevin Fahey. Uh, he came on real strong last year, um, and this year he's taken an even bigger leap forward. He is an elite defenseman. Um, he's got great footwork and really good positioning, and is a great leader down there as well. Um, he'll be surrounded by some combination of some of those guys I've already mentioned. Um, we also have got a, a guy named Evan Kalish who will be in the mix down there uh, quite a bit. Um, Cole Killian could bump down there. Shane Healy could play down there. Uh, any of those long stick middies we'll probably put down there. Um, and Nick Soriano has been pushing for some playing time as well. He's another senior uh, who's, who's really made huge strides this season. Who's standing in the cage for you in 2016? <laughs> who will be the leader from where it all starts? Well, for, for right now, it's, it's going to be Chase Rose. But like I said before, it's a very, very tight race between those two newcomers, uh, between him and, and Max Carter. Um, so, you know, it, it could be something that turns into split time. It could be something that we rotate for games, depending on who's playing well. Uh, but I know Chase right now is, is the leader right there. Expect a lot of balance, a lot of strength from this Bellarmine team in 2016. Now, Coach, let's focus on those overall season goals. Now in the preseason, things are telling your guys outside of practice and in the mm -hmm. huddle. We, we've done something a little different than, than we have in years past, where all we're talking about is the next game. We haven't talked about playoffs. We haven't talked about upcoming opponents. We haven't talked about any of that stuff uh, other than logistics of having to work around finals. That's it. Um, so we are legitimately taking this one game at a time, and that is all we've talked about. So all we've talked about so far this year is Robert Morris because they're the first game. Coach, what would you like to say to Knights Nation out there? Support your program this spring. Well, uh, I think anybody who's ever been to a lacrosse game, whether they've seen lacrosse before or not, has absolutely loved it. So I'd love to see people come out there. Uh, you know, try to pick it up a little bit, figure out what's going on. It's not a tough sport to figure out, but it is a lot of fun to watch, and hopefully we can pack those stands. Five home games on the schedule this spring in 2016 for head coach Kevin Burns and Bellarmine Lacrosse. Coach, thanks so much for sitting down. Always great to catch up with you. Look forward to seeing you on the field this spring. Thank you, Christian. Go Knights. Yeah, let's go. Bring it up. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. Hey, family on three. Ready? One, two, three. Family.